Hey guys, I'm Scott Poley, a producer and session guitar player, and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Mag Slide, Magnesium Guitar Slide. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for clicking on the video. I'd love it if you consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell icon so it will let you know when I post new videos, which I do every single week to help you make new music. Also, stick around to the end of the video when I'm going to be sharing my five top tips for playing slide guitar. So, what about the mag slide? So I'm going to tell you a little story. I first found out about mag slide at Summer Nam 2019. I was out in Nashville getting ready to do a gig at the Little Walter Tube Amps in Dorsey Jam with Robin Ford and a couple of other great guitar players. And I'd been invited to sit in on a couple of tracks including Dixie Chicken by Little Feet. And I needed a slide, I didn't have mine with me. So I was wandering around Summer Nam and came across this booth saying mag slide. So I went over and got talking to the guys and they said, oh, we make lightweight guitar slides. I've been using really heavy glass slides and I didn't like any lightweight guitar slides before that. So then they said, oh, go and sit down and try this, this slide out. So I did. I was absolutely blown away by the quality of the sound from this little slide. Super lightweight, but it's got the sustain of a really great glass slide or brass, heavy brass slide. And it intonates really well, it sounded great. So I got talking to the guys and bought my first mag slide from them. I've since got a couple more. I've got one of each of the finishes because I, I use them on tour, traveling around with, with rooms of Fleetwood Mac and a couple of other different bands. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the mag slide. They did send me a couple of them to use on tour, but I'm not being paid for this video or anything like that. And I just want to share a really great product in my opinion. The mag slide now comes in two different sizes. There's a smaller one called the pinky slide, I believe, for you if you play slide on your pinky finger. I play slide on my ring finger, so I play the large or regular size, whatever it is. The original mag slide works perfectly for me. The mag slide is designed with this bevel on the inside of the slide which works really well. It's super comfortable and it doesn't slide around your finger like many other slides that I've used in the past. It works specifically well as well for guitars with a lower action. I used to have to carry a couple of different slide guitars when we were doing shows and when you go to the studio. Using the glass slide, you had to have a much higher action. Whereas with the mag slide being so light, you can play a guitar with pretty much a regular action and get some really great slide sounds. It doesn't bottom out on the frets. The mag slide also sounds great on acoustic instruments. So acoustic guitars, uh, nationals, resonators, that kind of thing. Would I replace my glass slides permanently? I'm not sure. I, I love my glass slides and they all have a slightly different tonal character too. But for ease of use, you can't really beat a mag slide in my opinion. I'd highly recommend you go and check them out. They're a reasonable price, certainly not overpriced. Go and give Mike Slide a shout and tell them Scott sent you. So I wanted to share with you my five top tips for playing slide. The first one is to learn to block behind the slide. And what that means is when you're playing on a slide, you stop the notes that are happening here to clean up what you're doing. You do that by using, say, you've got, I've got my slide on my ring finger on this, and I'm using my index finger to stop the notes behind the slide. So instead of this, you'll see so you hear a load of string noise. You will get this. Second tip was learn to fret behind the slide. Now, I think I just did it then, actually. Um, when you're playing the slide, so for instance, if I'm playing up here on the seventh fret, I'm gonna block behind that, and then I'm gonna use my index finger to fret a couple of little bits of melody. So, so I'm using my index finger on the third string, on the G string, to fret on the fifth fret with my slide on the seventh. So that gives us 
So what that gives you is you can play a few more melodies without moving the slide. Next tip was to get used to playing alternate tunings. Now you can play slide on a standard tune guitar, but it really helps to try some alternate tunings. In this case, I'm in open A, so my lower string is an E, then it's A, E, A, C sharp, E. Um, I often play in open G, which is the same thing, just all a tone lower than that, or open D or open E, which is like an, like an E chord that you would traditionally play like that on the guitar but your guitar is tuned to that. Like George Harrison and players like that used open E a lot. The next tip was to practice with a tuner. This is a really useful tip if you're not really used to playing slide. Um, you can play and use any sort of tuner, a snark, you know, clipped onto the top, or a clip, you know, some sort of clip-on tuner, or a, a tuner on the floor, whatever, but just to practice moving between notes. Because the last thing you want is like a horrible sound when you're in the middle of a, a gig or a session or whatever you're doing. You don't want, you want a nice clean. My final tip, and you see I'm doing it already, is ditch the plectrum. Some great slide guitar players out there that use plectrums, but a lot of my favourite players, uh, Bonnie Raitt being one of them, people like Sonny Landreth, Derek Trucks, don't use a plectrum or they use a thumb pick. And the reason I say that is you can get a lot more detail out of the slide guitar when you're not necessarily using a pick. You can use either finger picking or a hybrid picking style even if you do use a pick. So, or if you ditch the pick entirely, which is my favourite, I use a thumb pick. It just allows you a lot more control over the notes and you can do, play melodies easier. So I hope that's been useful to you guys. I'd love it if you consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, ring that bell icon, it'll let you know when I release videos, which I do every single week. I'll catch you next time.